Spring has got to be the most uplifting season for this hobby that we all share. So let's talk about my spring essentials. First essential is everything in between a hoodie which represents the winter time and a regular t-shirt which represents the summertime. Now I love the regular basic tee but spring is a special time because certain shirts don't get enough love. Button ups for example. Rock these. Yes you can wear button ups in the summertime but mainly they're going to be short sleeve button ups. But I'm talking about these ones. The ones I have come with a mandarin color or a unique cut like this one from a cold wall. They add a cool formal elements to your fits that can be juxtaposed for a more tasteful unique fits and layers very nicely for a different taste than a regular tee. You got the buns going down, the collar, chef's kiss. But speaking on that, you guys already know that I love tank tops because tank tops in the summer is the next step for just more breathability, but there are a lot of people that aren't comfortable with it. I totally get that. So right now during spring, this is the perfect time to use it for layering. It's got a deeper collar compared to a regular tee that we all know and love, and throwing on a necklace is just the cherry on top. That's mostly for layering though, because an underrated look, I'm telling you, is just a regular slim fit tee paired with some wild wide fitting pants. I mean, oversized has been embraced and loved for the past few years. We all love it, but my mindset is always that there's seven days a week and you don't have to even rock the same fitments, the same color, or even the same clothes every day of the week for the rest of your life. So why not experiment around? And a good experiment, in my opinion, is rocking a slim fit long sleeve with wide fit pants. Just try it out, give it a shot. And with this, focus on high quality basics like with the sponsor of today's video, Atos. So Atos is a clothing brand started by Alex Costa. I'm sure you guys know who he is. And they focus on high quality basics. Just take a look. They only have four shirt styles that are classic and slim fitting and they have it in all the best colorways black white olive slate blue so here's what i love about atos the clothes are pre-shrunk so they won't shrink when you wash it obviously they're anti-pilling they come in four-way stretch and the fabrics they use can be moisture wicking and quick drying which is perfect for the upcoming summer season and it's also buttery soft you can't beat it it's a staple for the wardrobe and as much as i do love oversized tees sometimes they don't work with slimmer fitting jackets but back to styling it with wider pants check this out i'm keeping things very simple with the boots cargos and slim fit top the entire shape is completely different and I find it appealing just as much as any other style I'd rock it in. And when you do pair wide leg pants with a slimmer top, ATOS is perfect for this because it has a tapered side seam that contours your body so your proportions look really nice, there's not really excess fabric. It's a new favorite shirt of mine especially for the summertime, you know, I'm gonna be looking a little leaner and these shirts are perfect for that. Definitely check out ATOS in the description box below and make sure you use the code JOHNNYTIE for 10% off your orders over $75 or more. Thanks ATOS for sponsoring this video. Now the next essential you're going to need is functionality. You guys know I say this all the time, I'm talking about breathable fabrics, water repellency, and modularity. Because spring is a crazy time. You got April showers, cold weather, hot weather, high wind that's going to spread pollen to cause your allergies, and you want to be prepared for that. And you guys already know that I'm into tech wear which fully embraces this, but this applies to all genres of fashion. Because comfort is important. So I recommend starting with low-key items like the Uniqlo Airism shirts. It's only 20 bucks. It's moisture wicking, very breathable, and they got a lot of colors. And the best aspect about these tees is they look like your regular tee, but they feel so much nicer to wear. Trust me, get yourself one of them, you'll see the difference. Or for more fitted, a shirt from ATOS, like I said earlier, because of the moisture wicking and how stretchy it is, that's what you wanna look for. Now we all know that April showers is a real thing, so I recommend a fully water repellent uniform. Water repellent everything. I know these items can be very, very pricey, but they can be used for a lifetime. So especially if you enjoy hiking like myself, you can take these items with you on your journey to name every mountain so water repellent shell jackets sneakers pants you name it all right guys so here's my typical fit we got an alpaca cap which is water repellent we got a cold wall raincoats the rain illusion transforming pants and the 11 by bbs bomba twos with cortex so it's perfect for handling this type of weather and so let's talk about modularity now. You want something that you can manipulate yourself to provide more ventilation. I'm talking double zip jackets, jackets with a built-in sling, jackets with air vents or detachable pieces, or simply a piece that you can roll up the sleeves. Spring can be so bipolar and you wanna be able to adapt to it. And bonus points if your jacket is easily packable so you can whip it out or put it away, no problem. Next up is an assortment of what I call minimal overshirts or jackets. Anything with a minimal design that is timeless. They stay in your wardrobe forever 
forever. They can be worn in a variety of situations. And as much as I love a wild shell jacket like this one right here, how practical is it except for during poor weather? If we tone it down to something like this bomber jacket right here or this light spring trench coat, they're both still nice because they're easy to swallow, but I can wear it in a variety of situations like dates, buying milk, whatever it is, and I'm still protected from the elements. Now, is it flashy? Absolutely not. But that's where the knowledge of layering and colors come in, which we'll talk about later. So I always recommend blazers, minimal overshirts like this one right here from Y3 and Acne Studios, which are on the high end and H&M on the low end, plus track jackets, bomber jackets, and light trench coats. And you can find these anywhere. The simpler, the better. Like I said, there's no expiration date on these type of pieces. They're not trendy. They're versatile, classic. And if you want to pair these pieces with trendier items, they blend in right perfectly, or they also blend in perfectly with a minimal vibe. Either way, minimal jackets are a foundation for your wardrobe. Our next essential is the statement piece. It can be in the form of just a bold color, it can be an avant-garde piece like this, or it can be a loud print, some patchwork, or a pre-color blocked piece. And I find I like to embrace statement pieces when the vibes are there and I'm in a good mood. And my statement piece lately has been these tie-dye pants from Fried Rice. It's a nice pop of color, unique symmetrical design, it's been a favorite. And it can be bigger or smaller depending on you, it could be like a pair of sneakers, a beanie, some rings, accessories, whatever you're into. Next essential, of course, we gotta talk about color and that is the knowledge of color blocking. Seasonal depression is over now, I hope. You got nature sprouting again, people planting flowers, so why not embrace this with your fits? I mean, we do it during the fall time when things are dying, things are getting more brown and earth tone like. We do that during the fall time, why not more often during the springtime with pastel colors? And color is something that most guys can work on, so you wanna start off with the knowledge of how colors are made. Every single color Color is made with the grayscale spectrum. So for example, pastel colors during the springtime, those are basically primary colors or just regular colors with white added to it, making it lighter and brighter. And when you start to understand this, you can incorporate it more in your fits. So just as a tip, if you're rocking more pastel colors, you wanna pair it with more lighter colored pieces. Not to say that you can't pair it with black, I'm just saying it looks better with lighter colored items. Just in my opinion, you can do both, but that's just a good starting point if you are just getting into pastel colors and colors in general. Now next up is the color gray. This definitely deserves its own section because I have a whole video about the grayscale spectrum. Gray is just perfect. The revised version is basically that gray pairs with any color because it's used to make your favorite colors. Just like I think minimal overshirts are a foundation for your wardrobe, I also think gray will set you up very nicely when you start to understand it. But swapping pieces out for a gray version is just refreshing to see. Like let's compare this fall fit right here with the more muted colors, darker tones, and black. If we swap it for a gray one then add light colors it just hits a different vibe right spring is the bright variance while fall winter is the sad boy variant both look great but one of the other is going to express you differently now last but not least are accessories of course we all know that this is a year-round essential but like i said earlier about lighter jackets having to be able to pack it you want something to carry that jacket so i'm talking about bags this could be a tote bag a crossbody bag a sling whatever you're into i just think it's a good idea to carry one it's another visual detail on your outfits it's practical and functional that we were talking about earlier and it could be considered a statement piece like these ones right here now let's talk about caps beanies will soon be too warm to wear although i'll still wear it during hot days caps like trucker hats dual tone caps or even just a plain basic one with different colors are just perfect for whenever you feel like not doing your hair and i find it's one of those pieces that can really make a difference on your fits even though it's a small piece and shades are also a new favorite of mine we got more hours of sunlight and brighter sunlight which means it's perfect to bring these out my favorite ones come from clocks and colors and matsuda i mainly like these brands for the little details then you got rings jewelry watches yada yada you guys already know about that and those are my essentials for spring let me know what yours are in the comments down below make sure you subscribe to the channel give a thumbs up Definitely check out the brand Atos, and until then, stay fly, deuces.